Donkey Kong 64 has quite the reputation in the speed gaming community and is well known for its game breaking glitches its runners have found throughout the years. In this video we're going to dive into some of those glitches that the runners use to break the game and beat it as fast as possible. But first let me explain how the game works a little bit. Uh, Donkey Kong 64 uses an expansion pack because the game is extremely large especially for the Nintendo 64. The game is supposed to run at around 30 FPS but it hardly ever reaches that because it takes up so much memory. The devs knew about this so they implemented a mechanic to speed up the Kongs if there is lag. So basically that means the more the game lags the faster the Kongs will go. This makes the collision detection in the game pretty horrible so as you can see some Kongs can just roll right through walls. However ledges with a 90 degree angle almost always have a pixel that is not connected. So with some cam camera manipulation you can clip right through ledges pretty easily. This trick is called C-Up Clipping, and it's used a lot in most all categories for the runs. So if you want to get into a boss room, just try C-Up Clipping with the bottom stair. Another way, if you want to fight the boss with Donkey Kong, just go over to the boat, jump, punch right before landing, and then kick. This is what's called a moon kick, and it's really useful in speed runs. Here's another example of the moon kick in action. This time they're using the moon kick to be able to clip into this rock and get into Crystal Cavern early. And just like that, you skipped a very large portion of the game. He only has 40 bananas and you're supposed to have about 65 when you're here at this point. Here's another example of a wall that you can just clip right through. So if you find a wall with a right angle and jungle japes and you see up, you'll be able to clip through the wall and move out, move in out of bounds. Uh, this is called swimming through walls. It's a pretty basic trick used in a lot of Donkey Kong speedruns. Like swimming through walls, there's a trick called swimming through shores where all you have to do is dive and hold B right on the shore and you'll clip right through. But eventually, runners got tired of just all the walls and they take them taking too long. So we've got this trick called skewing. Uh, it's actually a really simple trick. You can go through pretty much any wall that you want. It's uh, the the basis of it is you need to swim through walls in the same spot, take out your weapon, walk into the water again and start swimming, look down the scope and then back out and you'll be able you'll be caught you'll be skewing uh, you can walk through pretty much any wall now notice that we have all the ammo upgrades and everything so this next trick is a uh, really long and complicated so I'm gonna try my best to explain it this is probably one of the biggest glitches in Donkey Kong 64 speedrunning it's one of the most complicated glitches that I have ever seen as far as I know, this uh, this next trick and this next trick and glitch is only used for any percent runs and no levels early. I don't think they use it in 101 percent, but I'm not 100 percent sure. Stipulations for this glitch to work: file one must be empty, and you must have at least 10 banana fairies unlocked from a previous save file, as well as seven keys. You're gonna need a second controller plugged in. Notice how the fairy slots are now unlocked first thing that you're going to do is start the intro story and this is typically where a timer would start. Immediately press A as soon as you start seeing the blue screen. Go to the options and turn on story skip. Now enter your file 1. As soon as you clear the squawk text, go to Cranky's hut to spawn the barrels. As soon as you leave Cranky's hut, go to the start menu and quit game. It's important to do this trick as quick as possible because what we're doing is 
having the intro story play in the background, which is 4 minutes and 26 seconds long. So everything has to be done in that amount of time. And we're using the fade outs from the intro, which are six, there are six total to our advantage. Alright, once the game's loaded back up, You need to go ahead and view your file one, but do not enter it. Now go to the mystery options and enter the jungle boss. You should get kicked out immediately. Now go to Kong Battle and Monkey Smash and start a game with your second player and you should get kicked out. Go back and play the castle boss. These, these next two cutscenes should play all the way through. The reason that we're able to play these cutscenes is because of, we're do because of a trick called Fade Out Cancel. So I mentioned earlier that the intro cutscene is playing in the background. And every time that it fades out, you're supposed to not be able to enter these cutscenes. But by playing Monkey Smash, it f cancels that fade out. And you can go into the cutscenes. Next you're going to go into the forest boss and you should get immediately kicked out so you play monkey smash again to do another fade out cancel. Now we're going to go back and do the same thing for the galleon boss. Notice right here in just a moment it's going to fade out. That's where, the, that's where it's fading out in the intro cutscene. Right there. So we're going to go back to monkey mash, do it once again with the second player. Now go back and do the factory boss. Factory boss is a little bit different because there's no cutscene that starts it, but as long as you enter it and exit as soon as you enter, it'll work just fine. Now the Aztec boss. Go back and do monkey smash one more time. This time we're going to go and we're going to just play Jetpack, which is a mini game in, inside of the game. Uh, really, you're only doing this to waste a little bit of time because there's still some intro cutscene left. And also, when you play this mini game, for some reason, it gives you all the candy instruments, all the cranky moves, and all the funky weapons. Now we're back here on the title screen and all we're waiting for is the intro story fade out. So it should, in just a moment, fade out into the game because the intro cutscene is over. Typically you're looking for that cut, the beaver cutscene in the background, that's how you know that it's about to roundabout fade out. Now the game doesn't expect you to enter the game like this, so you're stuck in main menu. Which means that you can't pause, you can't pause anymore, and you can't save. Alright guys, this is my first video like this. I appreciate anybody who watched it all the way to the end. I know it was a little rough around the edges. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed for more content like this. And I appreciate you watching. Thanks guys.